Small disclaimer, the vlog you're about to watch is more of a chatty talk through than an actual vlog. Grab something to drink or something to snack and have a chill time with me. Also, it's totally just my own experiences. Don't assume it's gonna be the exact same for you. Everyone is different. Also, do not copy the tattoo or any of the artwork from the artist. Thank you. And I never thought I could love my elbow as much as I do now. Let's get into it. Hello, so it's Monday. I'm very excited because on Thursday I'm going to get my elbow tattooed. All actually started back in November when I saw a drawing by a tattoo artist on Instagram. I answered them and said, oh, I love it. And they answered thank you and I had to go for this would be so dope on an elbow and they went for wanna go for it and I was like actually yes so yeah I wanted to give myself a tattoo for my birthday in December anyways we thought the appointment could maybe be in December all the Ronnie stuff going on and just couldn't let it happen so now we're in February, my appointment is in three days and I decided to film the experience because I was actually looking for videos on YouTube where people get their elbow tattooed and explain their experience and the healing process but I couldn't really find anything that spoke to me so I decided to film one for you, maybe you're interested, maybe you're not and yeah, about a week ago, I started treating my elbow with some beeswax grease because it's winter and the heaters are on, our skin gets very dried out. And I thought it's a lot easier for the tattoo artists to tattoo my elbow if it is not like dry as fuck. So I started treating it and the babe is ready. I also played around in Procreate with the placement of the design a little bit and just tried it out so that I'm not going to the appointment with no clue how I want it and I'm excited! So it's Wednesday, Wednesday evening to be exact and I always like to treat myself before a tattoo appointment so that my body is totally relaxed that my mind is calmed down yeah so i am probably gonna do face mask take a bath and really try to relax as much as possible so that i'm totally chill tomorrow and can have a really nice relaxing appointment was the flash I saw that was one of the prior versions um, with a different kind of stem and that is the final 
and the tattoo artist gave me one of the versions to stick in my sketchbook which looks very nice and It's almost 24 hours after I got my tattoo and I'm super happy with it and I didn't feel like filming at all so we took quite some time to adjust and correct the drawing to fit my elbow perfectly because the original flash was like not meant to be on an elbow and it wasn't even like finished so yeah in my opinion the pain level was pretty much okay it wasn't like totally bad but it wasn't like oh i feel nothing maybe be a six out of ten so in my opinion that's pretty much fine but you have to keep in mind my pain tolerance is pretty high i'm not very sensitive to pain it was the first tattoo to bleed though so that was something new For me, the tense and tingling feeling after you get it done is more annoying or hurts more than actually getting poked. Um, yeah, I haven't put anything on it yet. I wanted to let it breathe a little bit, but I'm gonna put some cream on it now. And actually, I am using coconut oil to treat my fresh tattoos. But I wouldn't recommend that if your skin is healing very slowly and has troubles um, healing by itself. My skin is like so weird. My tattoos heal within a few days and they are totally fine with coconut oil. But I definitely don't think coconut oil is something for everybody to heal their tattoos. You will definitely have to find your own treatment that fits your skin the best. But it's a very good alternative for me um, that is zero waste and it's not expensive and my skin loves it so I'm just gonna do it. In total the tattoo took about an hour to poke and those black parts here they were actually the easiest part pain wise which really surprised me because I thought like the black thing would be horrible. But no! It's been a week, actually, it's been a week and a day since I got the tattoo. And the tattoo, oh god, first real shower. As you can see, there is still a big crust on here, but the rest has almost come off completely. I guess it's gonna be like two more days and then all the crust will be gone. And yeah! I'm excited for that. There were some big chunks coming off and I found them in my bed. So that's for example one of the crusts that came off. <clears throat> I didn't really talk to you that much because I just didn't feel like it. And hey hi, so it's been a while. I just wanted the tattoo to really heal completely and really do not make any conclusions before everything is settled and I would say it's healed now completely it looks amazing so 
where yeah i just wanted to talk about the most important parts in my opinion and come to a conclusion i guess first thing i want to address is that it hurt way way less than i expected the black filling also hurt less than the line art which also surprised me a lot but yes i i thought the elbow is gonna be way way worse um the parts that hurt the absolute most were this bone here and this bone here so this bone here bursts up from the tattooing itself and then i barely hit myself on the wall and it instantly started to bruise up again after like two or three weeks um that happened to me two times so this part definitely was the most sensitive and also that part um, was also one of the hardest to heal and one of the most sensitive too. That was a spot with the big big crust on it so yeah. Something that was also different to the healing process of my other tattoos was that it healed with lighter and a little bit faded spots at first. It was looking like I definitely would need a touch-up on quite a few spots actually but I was assuming my skin would possibly like heal just a little bit more and it's gonna be fine and that's exactly what happened. I think this here was lighter, these ones, all the packed blacks were a little bit faded. It, it really looked like color was missing but after it completely healed up, there was almost nothing um, that looked faded except for that tiny spot here. Also, on the first or second night after I got the piece done, I stained the wall besides my bed because the tattoo was wet and I was sleeping and it apparently somehow touched the wall and there are just some wag flower petals on the wall now. But yeah, overall, I think it was way easier than I was expecting. Also, super big shout out to the tattoo artist. They were absolutely amazing. So calm, so nice, so caring. And like really just wanting the best tattoo you can possibly get on the perfect spot you can possibly choose. And yeah, big, big shout out, big thank you. It was a pleasure. I'm thinking about maybe adding something into here. We were both not really sure if we should do it, so we just left it open for later. Maybe some additions will be made, but not sure yet. So, For me, the shaving part and the regrowing of the hair feels way worse than the tattooing or the tattoo healing itself. It's just annoying, it's itchy, sometimes I even get some pimples from the shaving and it's just annoying that it, it makes everything feel so tense and ugh. For me what makes the healing annoying is the regrowing of the shaving, so yeah. But I'm in love, it's looking amazing, it's gorgeous, it's beautiful. I will definitely come back to this artist again because they were just amazing. And yeah, I hope you liked this little tattoo vlog, walkthrough process kind of thing. And see you in the next one. Bye.